You're still lingering like the old cologne that you wore. I still see your face in the empty frame by the door. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I'm really excited to share with you my experience as a tester for Love Notions. This is the first time that I've worked with them and I cannot wait to share with you my thoughts and the pattern that I tested for them. Please meet me in the next section if you guys are interested. So I had the privilege of being asked to join the Love Notions pattern testing group and I'm really excited to be a part of that group. I've seen their patterns in the uh, sewing community over the last few years and I've loved their designs, but you know, I, I have tons of patterns and something really have to speak to me or I have to actually go through a pattern testing with a company to actually learn their process and then see how their patterns fit with me. I really enjoyed working with them during my red dress project and I had to say yes when they asked me to join them for this year as a pattern tester. So let me just take you through the pattern that I tested. It is called the Terra Tunic and it's what I'm wearing right now. I have all the information that you will need to know regarding this pattern right down here. So if you see me look down, that is what I'm doing. The Terra Tunic comes with a V-neck, a scoop neck, a funnel neck, asymmetric collar, buttoned, um, a boat neck, which is the one that I decided to go and work on, and then a V-neck hood. So there are six options in this pattern which I thought was really good and it's a tunic style but that does not hinder you from making it a regular t-shirt style because all you have to do is just shorten it and do a minor adjustments to get that sort of fit. Now this pattern is a straight fit so by now most of you all know that I love form-fitting pieces so I was a bit hesitant of working on this project but I like to push the envelope, come out of my comfort zone and try different things. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to try this pattern because it has a scoop neck as well and I love a really good traditional classic tea style so I'm going to try something different but I know the pattern comes with multiple necklines which suits me fine and can definitely be good wardrobe builders for spring um, as well as throughout the year. So that is one of the reasons I worked on this boat neck and I tried the terra tunic as a whole because it's just not something that I usually sew. This pattern also features a really chunky hemline which I believe gives it a ready-to-wear look. It's much more um, professionally um, stitched when you look at it on my 360 because typically you'd find them with half inch to like 5.8 hems but this has a really nice event. The back is longer and then with that chunky two, two and a half inch seam, it really gives it a very clean and polished look to the hemline as well as the vent and that slit there. So one thing to put this at the top of any sewing list. Another feature that is really awesome in this pattern is the sleeves. You get the short sleeve, the elbow length, a three quarters length sleeve, as well as the regular traditional long sleeves to go with your tunic. There is so many different options that you can make with this pattern and you can create tons of designs. This one pattern gives you an entire wardrobe of comfortable tops for multiple seasons. The Terra tunic just keeps giving. 
I also forgot to mention that there are two other features which is super cool about this one and I would like to try it in the future. There is an elbow patch which I think is so cool. So this is a wide point in it but I was thinking if only I had some leftover leather that I could hand stitch those elbow patches on would have made this really awesome especially when you see the vibes that I'm giving in my 360 also welt pockets yes this tunic has two welt pockets in the front so you are getting multiple features to create I mean just go with your imagination with the options that you are given for this pattern I truly do like it I love the fit I made a size small I wasn't too sure about going with a size small because typically I use medium whenever I'm sewing any sort of knit fabric however this is a tunic so it's meant to be a little loose fitting and with that and the finish measurements the small was just a better for me so I will list the measurements on the screen so you know what the sizing looks like as well as the finished measurements <laughs> another feature which I totally forgot to include is the button this boat neck has a button feature and guys I love it I think it's so cool I use some amazing buttons from mood they are full metal buttons so they are nice and and heavy and they are shanked buttons so that gives it a little lift but it does add some really nice details and along with the the wide hem the facing also has a really nice stitching i did single stitching on my version but the instruction says to use a twin needle I didn't have one and I just didn't have the patience uh, while sewing this to do two rows of stitching the one thing that I should say because of my height I'm five feet nine inches I weigh about 150 pounds 148 150 but I have pretty long arms so it's a little short next time I make this I would definitely add about an inch extra so that once I do the hem it falls right at my um, wrist because that works better for me I really like having all my long sleeve hit my wrist I never really like it too high unless it's a bracelet length and guys, that is all that I want to share with you on this Terra tunic because it's the first time that I've made it. It's part of a pattern test. So I didn't really do any alterations that I may have personally wanted to attempt. I just wanted to follow the pattern so that when I share my thoughts with the group, that it would be helpful to make this a better pattern once all the instructions are completed and the fitting works well for everyone. So let's jump into my 360. After that, I will close out and I will see you guys shortly. Watch out, they said I won't see you come in. Watch out for sure. One blank now we're standing face to face And I'm as I to know Ben You'll come out direction I get in ahead of myself You're smiling cause you know you got my attention Now it's up to me You're looking at me and I can't help stare Right there, right there I'm coming for you so be patient Did you stay right there? You're looking at me and I can't help stare Right there, right there I'm coming for you so be patient Did you stay right there?
close now Could I be falling for you? Jaws on the floor You got that something I can't explain And I'm as I to know that you'll come Okay guys, there you have it. What do you think of this 360? I wasn't sure how to style this because I went with white ponte knit. There's nothing really exciting about this. It's a beautiful pattern, but this is just plain old boring white fabric. And I just didn't know how to lively it up. But then I remembered that I had the awesome buttons from Mood and I thought that would add a little glitz to it. And with my styling, I think it really pulled the outfit together. I decided to go with my Lucchese's boots and I just wore regular leggings. And this is like jogging leggings. <laughs> Nobody knows because it's a tunic so it's a lot longer. You don't see that pocket on the side where I have my, my phone when I'm doing walks, right? But it turned out really well and I really love how it looked. It looked really well put together. I think I could have gone with some unique belt to give just to break it up a little bit and add some dimension and depth to the outfit. Another thing that could have been added to create a really fashionable look and something that I like would have been a hat. However, I have only one hat and I keep wearing it on most of my videos and I have decided that I'm not doing it. I'm gonna get a new hat eventually. <laughs> I'm looking for something either brown or white. But the black hat could have looked really awesome with this outfit. Overall, I loved how it looked. I think the backdrop was amazing and you get a real idea of how these outfits fits an individual when you see the 360 as I'm moving around, as I'm turning. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how it possibly would look on your body frame. That is all I have to share with you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you have an amazing day. I will see you guys on another upload. Bye bye. Push you away and we're done just like that. Something about you is pulling me back. And I'm home